Hi, Daniel Pluzic uh, with the VMware Cloud Provider Solutions Engineering Team. Uh, part three of talking about what's new in vCloud Director 9.5. I'm going to talk about manageability and some of the new enhancements. First off, uh, we've introduced the vCloud Director uh, Virtual Appliance. This is prepackaged, no VF that you can download through uh, VMware Downloads page that actually can scale out or instantiate a brand new VCD instance. Uh, this is the front end cell, uh, so you still need the back end databases, your Postgres, your uh, Cassandra, NFS share, and so forth. However, this allows us to quickly uh, scale out, uh, build out a new VCD instance, and uh, provide uh, you know, a very focused and prepackaged uh, vCloud director environment. So uh, definitely check that out. Next up that I want to talk about is role-based access control. So the team has done a great job of simplifying our back capabilities, taking some of the uh, challenges outside of s assigning permissions, and this is done through uh, you know using global uh, templates. We also have this concept of bundles now, and the tenant org admin. Capability. So global templates or global roles, um, what we can do here is essentially create a role that actually not only applies to a certain organization, but can actually propagate to many orgs uh, within the environment. So uh, I could create a specific role that may be, hey, I want this via permissions, but I also want to give certain org admin that I want to actually propagate out to multiple orgs. So again, providing a lot of flexibility associated with this. Same thing goes with bundles. I, if I want to actually carve out certain permissions uh, based off of a role, I can actually create these bundles of permissions that actually propagate uh, down to a hierarchy uh, associated within my vCloud director instance. Last of all, the tenant org admin can now create their own uh, specific roles and permissions associated with the UI and actually propagate that to their own org uh, in the overall environment. So again, a lot of flexibility and great additions associated, all done through the new H5 UI. And from an extensibility perspective, uh, I'll cover this real quick, is uh, you know, we've introduced the new vCloud uh, API, which is 31. Uh, do note that you know we're uh, going through a lot of cleanup and deprecating some of the older versions. If I recall correctly, anything below uh, version 26 is now deprecated. Anything uh, under 19 is no longer supported. So, you know, there's been a lot of efficiency associated with uh, the new API and trying to really drive a lot of optimizations associated with that. This has also introduced the new Python SDK and also the VCD uh, CLI. So both of these were released when we had 9.5 ship. And then last of all, um, when we talk about container services extension, uh, version 1.2 also came out. So you know, a great way of testing out Kubernetes uh, version that it supports is 1.1, uh, I believe. And this allows us to actually utilize some of those uh, cloud native applications inside of a vCloud director release uh, and you know, support some of those specific use cases. So check out more, go to vcp uh, vcpp.cloud and uh, check out what's new on 9.5. Thanks and have a great day.